Hello everyone, welcome to the Shukri Shades. This is Aarti here and today we are going to paint this landscape. It's kind of a boat house. So the initial step is to uh, make a make an initial wash. Creating a wash is uh, very much important to uh, to have an inclusiveness uh, in the painting, in the end product, and it gives a very uh, fine finish, and uh, it makes the painting look wholesome as well. So for the sky, I've added uh, a mixture of uh, cobalt blue. Uh, and ultramarine blue some ultramarine blue and as you would have seen there are trees uh, after the sky so mm, just adding some green this is uh, viridian green so you make a rough sketch of it and also uh, make note of where the paper needs to remain white as in watercolors we do not paint white we just let the white of the paper be and hence it's very important to um, have that in mind that uh, we should leave the white and uh, paint the surroundings Uh, the brush that I am using here is uh, Dalaran uh, Round Leaf. It is an uh, oval flat brush. Um, it's I think 1 inch uh, size. And this brush is has been my uh, favorite for creating a very nice and a clean wash. And I also use it until almost my second layer. So this is the second layer that I am adding. I had uh, added some Prussian blue previously. And now I am adding some sap green. So the second layer is more of adding... Um, a little more concentrated state of the color and uh, you have to make uh, sure that uh, the previous layer is semi dried at least so that uh, doesn't form a lot of cauliflower edges I personally like cauliflower edges it, it gives that kind of a fuzzy effect but uh, we wouldn't like that in every uh, painting or every step so yeah now I'm adding in some viridian green just to add some darker patches so the paper I am using here is arches um, I will uh, give the details in the description it is a very uh, unique size of the painting uh, of the paper sorry so we can like I like using this paper for a very vertical or a very horizontal kind of structure actually uh, you can see the three-fourth of the paper um, and the other side is uh, not covered here in the video it wasn't captured So I am adding some burnt sienna, uh, it was uh, kind of a, it was watery and it was like a backwater or a, that kind of an effect, pond kind of this thing. So I am not uh, giving it much attention here, mm -hmm. just to denote that the, uh, the main piece, uh, the main uh, point of reference here is the house. So that is our view 
which is on the pond against a very green backdrop you can see i'm still using my uh, flat brush for uh, uh until the end of second wash and also going in uh, into the uh, house also this is uh, sepia plus uh, burnt sienna and a little a bit of crimson also adding a darker shade in the uh, edge of the roof to show some shadow to give it a shadowy effect so the first uh, the first shed or the pyramid on top was white so i'm leaving that white i'm leaving the house walls white so all that doesn't uh, require any paint as much now so we're almost stepping into the third layer um i would not say it as a final layer uh, this is more of a cream state so consistency of the paint this is a flat brush um, it must be number 4 it is from chameleon company it's just um, it's one of the old brushes that i have and it just it, it does justice to its uh, job so i'm adding in the doors and um uh, so yeah like the last minute touches that uh, we uh, do or we forget so all that needs to be covered up uh, well because my uh, second layer has also been dried in the background just giving some perspective to the house some missed out spots so initially it was kind of a negative painting that i did uh, during the initial washes uh, which was uh, painting around the house and uh, now i am very minimalistically um uh, creating the uh, look of the house it is a very simple painting here um if you try it out uh, do send it over to us you can dm to us on our instagram page which is watercolors by the sugary shades and uh, it is run by uh, me and my sister if you have any other uh, doubt or you want to just chat about anything do comment and we can discuss about 
some painting and some fun stuff so getting the perspective right as a beginner uh, it would be kind of tricky but uh, once you get the hold of it uh, uh you will not spend much time in it uh, initially even as uh, i started uh, uh building uh, painting landscape uh, buildings sorry so even i had to use a uh, scale and you know a, a pencil and try to make it into an accurate uh, figure or a structure but uh, now it's become kind of uh, simpler for me to uh, decode the whole uh, perspective and the angles that i need so i it's it's basically all practice the more we practice something the more we are confident and um, i think our um, it becomes like a muscle memory to us so i'm adding the tiles in the roof so you can see i'm just adding some lines uh, but also keeping in mind the perspective so that uh, the charm of the building doesn't get lost i can i i cannot add uh, straight lines in every angle because uh, it will not give the roof life at all so so i pay attention to small details so this is the final step all, almost the final step and uh, we'll be done in a few more minutes here i'll add in the final uh, painting uh, the picture at the end you can also check out our uh, other videos older videos um uh for really like the beginners just starting we have uh two three watercolor floral techniques to start off with um this is an escoda brush it is one of my favorites and most es essential I use this one and the flat uh, uh, wash brush always like in every for every painting so this is uh, called a rigor uh, brush I cannot make it into a disciplined brush because it's meant to be you um, you really like in its natural uh, act during the painting process and but i it it really adds some great value to the painting i think it's number 2 uh like i said i will add all the material details in the description below so these are the final touches of the painting uh we are almost done we also have an instagram page as i mentioned uh do stop by um, it's where we post all our recent paintings so we are done here and uh, this will be followed by the final painting photo of the final painting so here it is i hope you liked the whole process and if you have any comments or anything to discuss about do feel free to mention in the comments below and also don't forget to follow us on instagram and like and subscribe thank you bye bye take care